On July the 18th, 2023, NVIDIA released the RTX 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte model for $500. Now, normally the day before, which in this case would be July the 17th, I would expect to see a bunch of videos on YouTube from all the big tech reviewers talking about the card and what their thoughts would be on the card. But unfortunately, none of those videos exist. Why? Well, NVIDIA decided not to send out review samples. In fact, NVIDIA's AIB partners also decided not to send out review samples. Tell me you're a bad product without telling me you're a bad product. Now, luckily, Steve from Hardware Unbox was able to buy one of these cards with his own money independently and then do a benchmark analysis a few days later after launch. And we now have that video here on YouTube, and I will make some references to that video in today's video. Now, with all that being said, basically, the card is a bad card. It is a lackluster option for gamers, and there's a whole lot to dissect here. Now, before we get into it, a quick word from today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Status Audio and their Between 3 A and C wireless earbuds, and I'm happy to tell you about them. The audio quality is absolutely superb in these earbuds. It has a triple dedicated driver system, meaning you have one driver dedicated to the bass, another driver dedicated to the treble, and another driver dedicated to the mids. That means you are getting a far superior sound all the way around. But my favorite part is the fact that they actually take into consideration your ear type. You see, I can sit here and tell you about how these earbuds are comfortable for me, but my ear may not be your ear. Ear. And that is why in the box, they send you a baggie filled with different tips to fit different ear types. And so I am confident these earbuds will fit well in your ear. I love how easily these connect to multiple different devices. I don't just use the earbuds to listen to music on the iPhone, for example. I also use this to play games on my Steam Deck and it connected right away as easy as possible. It comes with a dedicated app to help you navigate everything. And of course, yes, it does have active noise canceling, but it also has an ambient mode that you can control in the app, which is compatible with iPhone and Android devices. If you're interested in getting yourself a pair of these awesome wireless earbuds, the Between 3 A and C, then use my code EROCK for 10% off at checkout by using the link down below this video. Thank you, Status Audio, for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte model. Why do people hate this card? What is the problem with this card? The reason why I'm making this video is because these are genuine questions I have received over in my Discord. People are genuinely confused about this and I understand why. Number one, Nvidia did not send out review units, which means a lot of tech reviewers that would normally cover this type of content and let you know about the price to performance ratio and is it good or bad? Do they recommend it or not? Why and why not and all that stuff. A lot of those reviewers, did not make a video on it because they did not get a review sample. And so because of that, there's a lot of people who don't have this information. And in addition to that, the narrative for a very long time now has been eight gigabytes is bad. We don't want eight gigabyte GPUs anymore. We want 12 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes ideally. That's what we want. We no longer want eight gigabyte cards. And so now you see this new card, a 4060 Ti, which is the class that so many gamers know and love, the 60 class series of cards. And you see 16 gigabytes of VRAM attached to it. And so now you want to think, oh man, wow, this, this is actually a good card. This is the card we want. It's a 60 class series card and it has 16 gigabytes of VRAM. It's exactly what we want. But then you look at the almighty price to performance ratio. You see, yes, we do want to see those things. We do want to see 60 class series of cards with 16 gigabytes of VRAM. That would be phenomenal if that was the new standard, right? But the problem is we don't want to see that for five hundred dollars. Do you know what we used to get for five hundred dollars? In fact, with the 30 series cards, the RTX 3070 was five hundred dollars. And the RTX 3070 is important for a couple of reasons. Number one, the 3070 replaced the RTX 2080 Ti. The RTX 2080 Ti regularly sold between one thousand to twelve hundred dollars. And now you have this five hundred dollar GPU outperforming that card. That was a massive step in the right direction for gamers. Sure, the 2080 Ti had three more gigabytes of VRAM, but outside of that, the 3070 was superior in every way. Back there in that PC, my wife's fully custom Super Mario themed PC that I built here on this channel is a 3070 Founders Edition card, and it's still running strong to this day. The other thing that's important with the 3070 is the fact that it outperforms the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte model. So let me break it down for you and let me put it in plain terms in case it's not sinking in. October the 15th, 2020, the RTX 3070 released to the world for $500. It is now coming up on three years old. 
Okay, three years old. So fast forward to 2023, we now get the 4060 Ti also for $500. The 3070 outperforms the 4060 Ti. A three-year-old card for the same price is outperforming the 4060 Ti. In fact, to make matters just a little bit worse, the 3060 Ti in some cases actually outperforms the 4060 Ti. If you check out Gamers Nexus review of the 4060 Ti 8 gigabyte model, you will see that in some cases, the 3060 Ti 8 gigabyte model is actually outperforming the 4060 Ti 8 gigabyte model. And to make matters worse, the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte model is the exact same card as the 4060 Ti 8 gigabyte model. The only difference is that it is $100 more expensive and it has eight more gigabytes of VRAM. And yes, over on Hardware on Boxes channel where he actually reviewed the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte model, Thank you for that. We do appreciate that, Steve. He showed that the 16 gigabytes of VRAM did in fact help in some games. The extra VRAM does make a difference and that is a good thing and that is what gamers want, but gamers don't want that for $500. This is a 60 class series of card. It should not be $500. It shouldn't. And, and that's really that's really what it all comes down to. Steve, even from Hardware and Box, talked about how if the card had been three hundred dollars or something like that, it would be a recommendation all day long. Why would you not buy that card for three hundred dollars? But at five hundred dollars, it's a very hard recommendation because a you have the thirty seventy situation that I already explained, and b you could go to AMD and buy one of their six thousand series cards for the same price, if not cheaper in some cases, and get the same amount of VRAM and get better rasterization performance. And so when you have have all these other options out there, the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte model is just not looking good at all. And then you have all the other crap added on top, right? It's a red flag that they don't want to send out review samples. That's never a good look. And then in addition to that, you have the whole stigma of the 40 series cards itself, which I've already done an entire video about before you buy any 40 series GPU. And I talk about everything that Nvidia cut down. I go through this video spec by spec on every single card from the 4090 all the way down to the 4060. And I show you where they cut the memory bandwidth and I show you where they cut the memory bus. And and we talk about how Nvidia shifted the product stacks, which they did. Now, some people don't care about that. Some people say, hey, I don't care about the name. Who cares what you call it? You can call it the 4070, blue, green, rainbow, whatever. How does it perform? What is the price? And on one hand, I get that argument. I do. What is the price to performance? At the end of the day, that is really the only thing that actually matters with GPUs. But then on the other hand, I also get the other side of the argument. And now you have gamers looking at the die sizes and they say, wait a minute, if you look at the die size for this 40 series car, and you compare it to the predecessor on the 30 series card, the predecessor was actually a tier lower. That means they shifted the product stack. That means a 3050 is now being called a 4060. And so really this shouldn't be a 4060 Ti, this should be a 4050 Ti. Nvidia is shifting the stack. They're lying to us, they are misleading us, they are ripping us off. And that has been a key component in why people have just hated the 40 series cards. That and the fact that, you know, they've been incredibly expensive. Now, Vex is another tech reviewer. I'll have his video link below. He does a good job at breaking down the die sizes and talking about some of these issues that I just talked about. And then in addition to that, he actually calls the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte model the worst GPU to ever be released. Now, I don't know if it's the worst GPU ever. There's been a lot of GPUs, okay? But he does make a very compelling argument. And so again, I'll have his video link below. If you wanna check it out, I definitely recommend it. Okay, so what this means is that if you're a gamer looking for an upgrade, let's say you're coming from an older GPU and you say, I only want Nvidia, I don't want AMD for whatever reason. I want a 40 series card because I don't want anything that's a couple of years old at this point. I want something new and I need more than eight gigabytes of VRAM. If that is who you are, your cheapest option is $500. And that is a problem. And then on top of that, when you buy that 4060 Ti for $500, you're buying a card that is overpriced and underperforms in comparison to its three-year-old counterpart. And that is why gamers, tech reviewers, everyone hates the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte model. Now, with all that being said, one of my biggest pet peeves is honestly just the fact that you have two SKUs with very similar naming. Basically, they're the same product, but they have different amounts of VRAM. I don't like that at all. It causes market confusion. You have people coming in, to my Discord and Twitter and all that stuff, asking questions. And they're questions that would never need to be answered if Nvidia just did the right thing and said, hey, look, here's a card, here's the VRAM, that's your option. 
I don't know why they do this. They always want to pick a 60 series card and say, hey, we'll give you an eight gigabyte model and a 12 gigabyte model. And all it does is cause confusion. And then on top of that, it really ends up in people getting ripped off because they didn't know which model to buy. As unfortunate as that is, that is the reality of the situation. As you can see, it's not like we have a 4070 12 gigabyte model and a 4070 16 gigabyte model. Yet for some reason with a 4060 Ti, there are two models, eight and 16. And the 4060 only has an eight gigabyte model as well. I don't know why Nvidia has decided to do this. They did it with the 30 series cards. They're doing it again now with the 40 series cards. I don't like it. I think it is stupid. It is beyond dumb, but hey, it's not the first dumb thing Nvidia has done. Am I right? Let me know in the comment section below what you think about everything we talked about in this video. Did I miss something? Is it clear now why gamers don't like the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte model? Well, let's be frank. They don't really like the eight gigabyte model either. It's just all bad cards at bad prices. Am I right? Hey, a quick shout out to all of my Patreon members. Thank you so much for supporting me and really helping this community thrive. And if you want some behind the scenes exclusive access, check out the link in the pinned comment below. And for everybody else, thank you for checking out the video. If you're new, please consider becoming a subscriber. I would love to have you hit the like button because it goes a long way in helping me out. And until next time, you rock out.